hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to see the Xenex OS on this Redmi Note 3 which is based on Android version 10 so guys let's begin okay so guys as you can see here the Xenex OS the version here is 1.7 and the security patch level here is the July 5th and the build date here is the latest one July 30th I had updated through the OTA update and the kernel here is the Kali and Ege. so guys now going to the settings these are this is the settings UI going to the system this is uh, all the stuff available and these are the OTA updates I just updated I installed this 19th July version but then I got the OTA update I have captured the screenshot here I'll just show it to you as you can see I got the update and is, uh, here it is showing full update possible and I had updated it to get the digital well-being available here which is working absolutely fine then uh, going to the security here uh, you don't get the fingerprint scanner option I don't know why after the update in the previous version I was I had the fingerprint option it was working absolutely fine but then in this build I don't know what just happened they just removed the fingerprint and the as you can see the face unlock here is working absolutely fine no problems with it so there is no fingerprint option available here so you cannot use it then uh, going to the sound and vibration stuff these are all the sound and vibration stuff available and uh, from the previous build here these are the animations that just got updated like in the previous version there were not the animations and this version they are updated and you get the vibration and haptics you get the vibration patterns available here which is just amazing going to the display option here is the display option as you can see up here the animation these are all the display option the display calibration the font size display size you get the screen saver option the lock screen display here is available you get the ambient display available here the ambient settings you get the always on also available which is also working absolutely fine as you can see but on the always on you can also see the wallpaper also you get the uh, brightness option for the always on display and the ambient display okay then uh, you get the display cutout the corner cutout the double cutout i don't know why they gave it but there is an option available here that is it for the display option now going to the battery the battery life here is not that great you will get around four to five hours of screen on time that is average battery life is not that great as you can see i just charged now i haven't used it yet and the screen on time here is two hours 45 minutes so the battery life here is not that great it's average so guys that is it for the settings Okay, so guys, now moving forward to the Zen XOS customizations. These are all the Zen XOS customizations. As you can see, the animations are up here. Uh, these look, these are looking just ama amazing, great. Uh, going to the status bar, these are all the status bar options. Just same as every ROM. I just feel like I just don't want to review this uh, features. So these are almost the same in every ROM, but still, I will just show you. You get the network speed, the carrier label, and all that stuff. You get the custom logo, the 4G icon. Volti, Wo Wi-Fi icon. This is just not working. Wo Wi-Fi is just not supported on this phone. Then here is the quick settings customization. You can customize the rows and columns in landscape and the portrait mode. Then you get the header image, the art style notification, the background blur like this. QS blur, quick settings blur. Then the quick pull down and all the all the basic stuff available. Yeah. Then uh, going to the lock screen customization. You get the option double tap to sleep on the lock screen then you get the animations ls animation okay i don't know what is the ls animation lock screen as you can see this animation this is the animation ls lock screen animation here just available okay then as you can see this is all showing on aod always on display you get the charging animation uh, available here the water colorful and all that stuff this is also working absolutely fine no worries then you get the pocket detection the error vibration and all that stuff uh, available then going to the ambient display you get the edge lights edge lighting available here which is also working then you get the light repeat mode and all that stuff you, then going to the ambient settings this i just showed you from the display settings going to the user interface customizations you get the dark theme option available here the styles and wallpapers these are all the styles uh, the clock styles available here so many clock styles 
then go into the wallpaper these are the wallpaper system wallpaper available here then you get the switches option like this this which is option available here then the, that's it then go into the screen you get the rounded corner option available here which is also working absolutely fine then go into the animation these are the animation the system wide animation of activity open and close animations and the clue style animation all that stuff is available okay then go into device parts so these are the xiaomi features the advanced controls too is available for every room this is in the customization section who get the me sound enhancer option available here which is a good which is good then you get the display color, all the same stuff then go into the notifications and stuff you get all these option available the ticker the smart replies and all that stuff go into the navigation bar the gestures are already enabled like it was enabled when i installed the room so the gestures are pretty much smooth enough no problems with the gestures you can just disable the hardware buttons you can turn on the navigation bar as you can see but here it is showing just line which i just don't like it then you get the arrow keys and the gestures these are the gestures available here the three finger swipe gesture is also available and the long screenshot option is also available here then go into system navigation gestures go into settings you can just hide the navigation bar from here like uh, as every room the hardware button vibration the haptic feedback just got disabled then you get the customization double tap single tap customization as available for every room and then go into miscellaneous these are the miscellaneous you get the gaming mode available here pretty much same options uh, as every room then you get the about option the devices the developers and all that stuff that is it for the zen os customizations now talking about the other stuff the wi-fi bluetooth mobile data flashlight everything is just working fine no worries then you get the screen recorder option the android 11 one or you can call android 10 one which is also working fine now talking about the camera this is the google camera go version pre-installed here both the G cams are not working, the BSD mode and uh, the Parrot developer, both the Google cameras are not working here. The Google camera Go version here is working absolutely fine, the video and portrait mode, photo mode, everything is just working fine. Now talking about the other stuff, so the PUBG performance, PUBG runs great, no worries with the PUBG, like every room, you don't have to worry about the PUBG. Now talking about the youtube youtube is working absolutely fine you get the right swipe for the google feed and as you can see google camera 7.5 is going to come soon talking about the banking apps here it is the safety net let's just run uh, the test as you can see the safety net status has passed successfully and you will be able to run the banking apps you have to install the magic and root your phone to run the banking apps and all the other stuff uh, like going to the performance uh, here are the Geekbench scores uh, the 291 and 763 uh, that is great no worries with the performance the performance is just great and as you can see the icons here are a little bit smaller here on this ROM so guys that is it for the features and all that stuff now, now talking about the bugs so guys uh, as every room you know you already know the bugs uh, and every android 10 room you get the same bugs uh, the black screen bug the random reboot bug uh, the boot loop bug uh, like stuck at the boot animation and it will not reboot uh, so guys these are the same bugs as every android 10 room so guys that is pretty much it for this Zenx OS overall the ROM is just pretty much stable no worries but if you want to reboot your phone then you have to reboot it two times otherwise it will go into the boot loop and you have to reboot it using the volume button and power button okay so guys that is it that is that is the Zenx OS on the Redmi Note 3 okay so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye